in Montana. New unit, never been here before. We're going after some elk. Uh, we have a mule deer tag, so if one's dumb enough to step in front of us, we're gonna shoot it. But super excited, glad we made it. Travel was a little hectic, the race was a little hectic, but right now we're just checking sight tape before we head over into them hills. We'll be after them. Chasing bugles here pretty soon, going there for a few days. Get after it. Do what? Oh, it's not great. Well, we got on some pretty good bulls tonight. Um, <clears throat> but got run over by one. It felt like smelt him. I mean, we were inside a glunking range, so we were really tight. I think we're in the right spot. I think we can catch him. We know they went to this water hole that we know is there. So I think they're trying to go for that water hole. We should have sat there all night. It was where we bugled first thing, but oh well, maybe we know where they're bedded now, we know where they're going. Hopefully we can cut them off in the morning, so we're gonna try to get some sleep tonight, but I don't know how that's gonna be with all these bugles, so hopefully we can get a little bit of sleep, we can get up early, get going before the light gets out, and get on some milk. Well, uh, it's lunchtime, day one, official, I guess, the full day of hunting. Uh, last night we got into some bugles. This morning we got into some bugles, chased them around for a little bit. Got close enough where we bumped one, but we never really saw them. So right now uh, we just kind of hung out for a little bit, let those elk go to bed. We're actually going to try to slip up there now and try to get into their beds. They've probably been bedded for an hour or two. So hopefully they're happy where they're at and we can kind of slip in, and if not, um, we're going to work our way towards where we heard those bugles last night and again this morning. So we think that's like their travel corridor. We're going to try to cut them off, but I'm feeling pretty happy. I'm feeling good about it. Uh, we've had a lot of interactions, um, a lot of bugling. So and I don't really think there's many people out where we're at. The people that we did see were kind of going to a different part of this unit. So pretty happy that we're the only ones in here. So hopefully we can get on them. Um, the wind's pretty steady right now. So I feel confident as long as we play the wind right. Um, we have it in our favor, so right now it's just a matter of kind of walking around, hope we come across one. So we bumped, we were actually working our way down this logging road um, on the way back to water. We bumped a bull that was no more than, had to be 20 yards off the road. Wind wasn't great, so we tried to circle around and get to where we, we thought we bumped him down into. We're just going to continue to work our way towards water and uh, make a game plan for tonight. Wednesday. I think. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yeah. It's Wednesday. 
None of us really heard much last night, but as we're sitting here kind of getting ready, making a plan, we heard one bugle. Sounds pretty close, so we're going to try to get in front of him again. See what happens. that top field. He didn't dart. He was he was just standing in that opening up there. So I'm guessing, you know, the hunter probably bumped him down here and they moved. The bigger one moved up to that yeah. point before he went out into the field. And at some point he had to jump that fence too because there's a fence that runs across there. Is there? Mm -hmm. So we're going to we're gonna pack out eventually, but we had those bulls over here earlier this morning, so we're gonna take all the gear we don't need. We're gonna go hunt those until dark, and then on the way out, we'll pass up here, grab our stuff, and buggy it out of here, or hopefully we got really heavy packs later. sitting here we'd bumped a bull midday at about 11 11 30 he ran over here under the private um, with a few other bulls that we knew weren't here this morning we've kind of just been sitting we've been hearing the occasional bugle right now they're going bananas in this draw over here it's at least what three or four bulls going at it yelling at each other so hopefully it's only a matter of time before they start working their way this way um, water is way down that way and it's really the only water in the area so but they're definitely up and they're definitely pissed off, which is good. In this bottom, and he was slowly making his way uh, he actually turned at one point and kind of came back a little bit, but then he went to the fence. So I just, I didn't know if he crossed the fence, I just knew he moved away, so I moved with him. He cow called that one? Yep. Yeah. And he, he had crossed the fence and went over to the other side, but then when I started raking and getting more aggressive, he started coming back. But he just, he just kind of went like, mm, nah.
uh, we got on them this morning. And when I say we got on them, we got on them tight. We were not planning on hunting today. The weather was supposed to be shit. It was supposed to rain. So we decided to sleep in a little bit, maybe pack up and just head out because it's supposed to be torrential downpours. Um, we got up. It was raining a little bit, and then it stopped. And then we heard some bulls bugle off down in the land we wanted to go hunt. So we're like, you know, let's just grab a few essentials and let's head out for a little morning. And we ended up getting on two bulls, one of them at 65 yards, pushing some cows around, had no interest in stopping. And then we ran into another one um, just on the other end of this field. We got to within 225 and he was just content feeding, bugling at the bulls on the private. And we were gonna get in between the elk and the private, which we did, got all the way to 35 yards. The only shot I had was a 35 frontal through some brush. It was not a good shot. Um, if I was standing where Dax was standing at 30 yards, he could have heart shot him, but that's just the breaks. I was just standing next to the wrong tree. Uh, we had them really close. They're still going off here on public. So that's the closest I've ever been to come killing an elk. The first year I got kind of close and I saw him. Last year I didn't get as close, but I saw more elk. And then this year I've heard more, seen more, had better shot opportunities, but man, those are the breaks. Um, I was shaking really bad when that bull came in. It was hard to get a range on him. That's how excited I was. So we're going to head back out here and start packing up the truck. And as long as this weather doesn't roll in in this afternoon, we're going to come back in here and try to get it done. But if the weather rolls in, then this is the end of that video. And I appreciate you guys for watching. So we'll find out. Stay tuned.